This video will provide an overview of the check and adjust calibration tool for all Leica total stations and multi stations. The video focuses on total stations and multi stations that are powered by Leica Captivate. Basically, the check and adjust feature is a tool to do a user calibration of the instrument. To measure with high precision, total stations have to fulfill specific requirements of the rotational axis in particular regarding the alignment of those axes. Meeting these requirements is a tough task during manufacturing. Even the most careful and precise assembly process will result in small deviations which can lead to so-called instrument errors. These instrument errors, like the horizontal collimation error, tilting axis error or vertical index error, can affect the measurements and therefore lead to wrong results if they are not properly considered. At the end of the manufacturing process, any instrument errors are carefully determined and adjusted so that the measurement results are correct and reliable. Over time, stress due to temperature changes, shock, vibrations, etc. means that the errors, and therefore the correction values, have to be redetermined from time to time to guarantee the best measurement performance. As previously mentioned, a total station has to fulfill specific requirements. Unconsidered misalignments of the rotational axis can lead to wrong results. The check and adjust tool can be found in all currently available Leica total stations and multi stations, in settings, TS instrument, and check and adjust. The tool allows a user to determine the typical instrument errors, as well as misalignments of the automatic target aiming and the crosshair of the telescope camera in an easy and fast way. It is not necessary to send the instrument to service to recalibrate it. The calibration procedures are guided, and if they are followed carefully and precisely, the parameters will be correctly estimated. After using check and adjust, the calibration values will be remembered and automatically applied to all subsequent measurements when the tilt compensator and horizontal corrections are activated. This ensures your measurements are to the highest accuracy, meaning errors are minimized and you can have confidence in the results. Additionally, it is possible to create a report after every calibration to have the calibration values documented, for example, for quality assurance purposes. To create the report, enter the check and adjust settings and then press next. Choose an output file name and select an appropriate format file. The format file has to be loaded onto the instrument in advance. To confirm the settings, press finish. Entering the check and adjust tool offers the operator various possibilities. In particular, three different calibration routines are provided by the check and adjust tool. The routines will guide the user in an easy and clear way through the procedure. The first routine, also called the combined calibration routine, covers all errors except the tilting axis error and builds the basis of a calibration. The second routine determines the tilting axis error only. It is recommended to finish the combined calibration routine before the tilting axis routine as an invalid calibration value of the collimation error would affect the estimation of the tilting axis parameter. Completing the first two routines will check and adjust all possible error sources. The third routine calibrates the inclination compensator only, which is not necessary if the combined calibration routine was executed before. It has to be considered that all three routines require different setups and different targets respectively. The combined calibration routine requires a target at a distance of 100 to 150 meters position less than plus or minus 9 degrees from the horizontal plane. The second routine requires a target at a similar distance, however, it must be positioned at least 27 degrees above or below the horizontal plane. In addition to the typical instrument errors or a total station, the first combined calibration routines can also calibrate the automatic target aiming and the crosshair of the telescope camera if the total station is equipped with those features. The chosen calibration routine will guide the user step by step through the whole procedure. 
In order to estimate the correction values properly, these instructions must be followed carefully and precisely. The complete procedure needs just a few minutes. Do remember that when calibrating the automatic target aiming or the crosshair of the telescope camera, the telescope must always be manually aligned towards a target, regardless of the routine. As you will see, all calibration routines consist of two-phase measurements. To achieve precise calibration values, the two-phase measurements should be carried out at least three times in a row. If the desired accuracy is not achieved, additional two-phase measurements can be executed to improve the results, or the routine should be restarted. To avoid systematic error sources, the following aspects must be considered to guarantee reliable results. Set up the instrument on a stable pillar or tripod. An unstable or vibrating environment will affect the results. The instrument should be protected from direct sunlight to avoid thermal warming. Environments with strong heat shimmer or air turbulence should be avoided. Therefore, it is recommended to calibrate the instrument under cloudy conditions. For the target, we recommend to use a Leica circular prism, GPR121, in a location which is protected from direct sunlight. Vibrations of the target, as well as reflective surfaces or light sources around the prism, should be avoided. Before starting one of the calibration routines, the instrument must be acclimatized to the ambient temperature. The instrument must be switched on and needs approximately 2 minutes per degree Celsius difference to acclimatize, with at least 15 minutes to minimize a heating up drift. To guarantee the highest precision during daily work, we recommend to calibrate the instruments on a regular basis, every 3 to 6 months. A reminder can be set within the check and adjust tool to inform the user in this regard. In addition, the calibration routines should be executed before the first use, before every high precision survey, after rough or long transportation, after long working periods, after long storage periods, if the temperature difference between the current environment and the temperature at the last calibration is more than 20 degrees Celsius. A proper calibration of the instrument enables the highest precision and reliability of your measurement tasks. We have seen in this video an overview of the check and adjust feature. With this tool, every Leica total station and multi-station can be easily calibrated to provide highest precision of the instruments. Thanks for watching.